Hey guys, Timothy here from the Contempo Review. Today I have an unboxing for you. It's the Adesso Cyber Tablet M14 Media Graphics Tablet. This tablet comes with Adobe Photoshop Elements 8.0, which no is not currently the newest version of Photoshop Elements 8. The current new model is 9. This also comes with ArtRage 2.5. The um, says you can draw and paint, photo editing, handwriting recognition, which is good for signing documents and emails. Um, as the next picture says, mark and sign documents. And then note on presentations, which some people like to do. This is Windows 7 compatible and Mac compatible. I'm not sure if it's Mac OS X compatible because I run on a Windows system. It is a 12 inch by 7.25 inch tablet for drawing area, which is about the size of a piece of paper. On this side, it says specifications and system requirements. It's a selectable writing area of 16.9, which is 12 inch by 7.25 inch, which is the default, so that's your widescreen. Or you can have a more narrow screen of 4.3, which is 9.5 by 7.25. The hardware resolution is 4,000 lines per inch. Um, report rate of 200 RPS. Pen pressure of 1,024 levels of sensitivity, which 34 programmable, programmable macro keys. Um, you have a scroll hotkey, zoom hotkey, volume hotkey, and your setting for wide and standard right here. Your 16.9 and your 4.3. You have two rolling pad and push buttons. An LED indicator, five blue LED indicator. Not sure what that's yet. That will be in the review itself. Um, power consumption is 30 milliamps. So maybe that LED is uh, the power or... I don't know yet. Interface USB is 1.1 full speed on system requirements. Microsoft Windows 7 Vista XP 2000 and oh, Mac OS X capable, compatible. There you go, people. It's a Pentium 2 processor or higher and requires 12, 128 millibytes of RAM, CD-ROM drive, and USB port. And according to the package contents. It comes with the tablet, a pen, and one AAA battery. So your pen does run on batteries. A pen holder, two different tips, which according to this picture look the same size. Tweezers, I guess, for your tip. A disc and a quick guide and a manual. You have an upper button, a down button, a LED for your low power indicator, your pen tip and that's what your rolling pads can be used for scroll zoom and volume adjustment which is nice and you have the patented ma macro key functions increase the efficiency the dual mode writing area which all right now inside a little nice folding dun, 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 the star of the hour let's take it out all right so first thing you'll automatically see is your nice tablet wrapped in plastic. It's a 1.5 meter USB jack. It's not micro USB to USB so you cannot unplug it and use it for other devices. Ah. Um, next you have your quick guide and CD stuff. Yeah. Your pen in the back here. Nice little pen. I might have to get a little string for it. I don't know. And it comes with the AAA battery. So every once in a while you're going to have to change that. The pen tips, I know this is hard to see because it's not autofocus. And it tells you how to change the battery, which most people don't need to know how to do. Because it's simple. And then if we lift this, we have our nifty little pen holder. Sweet. But let's not take that off yet. Alright, so there's the tablet. You can see that it does spin. And you have a clicker but you cannot press for direction on these. They're both sliders, so you can have scroll up and scroll down. 
and you can have volume. So for people look, working with um, maybe a linear video editing, you can have this as a volume and this as your maybe a timetable, I don't know. Um, scroll, zoom, volume, wide, standard. Most people I'm guessing would use wide. Cause, and as you can see, along this border, you have these letters and numbers that say K25, K18, K1, blah, blah, blah. That's all your hotkeys that you can program your macros. And so, as you can see, little USB cord. It's not long. But I know, I'm pale white. Oh, and it's on there, so you can use it to wrap it up. It's not long at all. I mean, not long. So you can kind of have it on like your lap and have your monitors or whatever a little bit further away from you. And we might want to look at that. So the pen does come with three ten pen tips actually. Two extras just in case I guess your pen tips start to die. I mean I know some people go all out. So right when you first open it, if I can get it back to how it looked. You have, that's basically what's inside. Nothing much, nothing fancy. You have your tweezers to take out your tip, your instruction guide on how to install a battery or change your AAA battery and your pen itself. It's a nice little pen. Sits nicely in there. I guess you can have it no, you can't really have it either, or is it? Oh, it's just mush. It's not really formed. So it just sits in there. I mean, it sits in there pretty well. I mean, it's a... On the top we have a back button and a front button. And maybe a center button? No, no center button. So the first button can be like a normal pen click. This button's like right click. Um, you do have your LEDs in there for your low battery. Oh, I see how it does. Okay, so to change the battery, I have to take this off first. And then you take this part off. Just pull it off. And why, why would they wrap the battery in plastic? Come on. And just slip. battery just slips in like that. I don't know if it's a working battery, but we'll see. Maybe it doesn't turn on if the tablet's unplugged or what. Um. No need for separate power adapter, completely USB powered, so maybe the pen does work off of a wireless signal that tells it to turn on. Um, high accuracy and sensitivity for a highly reactive cursor. Wireless two button pen with 1024 levels of pressure sensitivity, 1024. And that's really it, I guess. So here is something. There, you can sometimes have an erratic or jittering cursor. It's suggested to keep the tablet at least 5 inches, 12 millimeters, away from a monitor, modem, and other electronic devices because certain devices may emit the electromagnetic interference with the pen. Hmm. You, can, you have your... Art Rage 2.5 disc, um, you have your Photoshop Elements 8 disc, and yes I'm protecting the serial numbers, and you have your Cyber Graphics tablet CD. The drivers that have the CD, um, its content has the Windows Driver Macro Key Manager and the Mac Driver. But the drivers on here are only for Windows 7, Vista XP 2000, and the Mac OS X 
10.2 and up. Alright guys, well, the review of this will be up in about a week. Alright, this is Timothy from the Contempo Review. Check out the Contempo blog at thecontempo.tumblr.com. Links for all that will be displayed in the box below. Yes, below. So have a nice day. Thanks for watching.